So I want to ask you first about this Apple Pay partnership, which rolls out sometime later this year. What's the longer term impact of arrangements like this? And why are you projecting no revenue impact really for fiscal 25 when we should see this roll out at least within the next six, seven months? So things that are worth doing really take time. And we think in years and we hope decades, not you know, next three, six, 12 months. It's just always a good idea to aim really high and take your time to build something worth building. It is a super exciting partnership. It is you know, the most beautifully designed, easiest of use, greatest wallet, digital wallet probably out there you know, with, with uh, our products that are designed to give people total control over their payments, transparency, no gimmicks, no late fees. And so it's you know, very exciting. We're just, just getting started. Today is just the announcement, you know, the, not even the launch. Okay, so I want to ask you about pay in two and pay in 30 in the context of the broader economy and consumer behavior. Because buy now, pay later is a bit of a black box for a lot of the people who are looking at the, the broader credit picture. And I wonder how much of an impact do you think it's having these more consumer friendly terms that a firm has, for example, versus these credit card uh, rates that are going up so high? I've seen some up well above 30%. I think that's exactly what we started this company to do, to unbundle the credit card, which is a wonderful user interface. It's the best payment user interface ever created, perhaps, but it's also completely opaque. You don't know when you're going to be done paying off that swipe, no matter how convenient it is. The idea of a firm is to be the antidote for any transaction, be it a small $80 to $100 transaction, which is what these pay in two and pay in 30 things that we just announced are really all about, to pay in 39 months, which is you know something that's a lot more for a multi-thousand dollar workout equipment for your home. Each one of those transactions is separate and you get total transparency into the cost and a timeline to pay it off. The interest does not compound, so you know exactly how many dollars of interest at most you'll ever pay. It's just really, really easy to use. And the impact speaks for itself. When we integrate with merchants, they report up to 80 to even 100 percent increase of the average ticket that they sell because consumers feel more confident buying with buy now, pay later instead of the credit card. And we very quickly get from five to sometimes all the way up to 30 percent share of wallet at the merchant, which means that consumers are buying where they otherwise wouldn't have. So, Max, it's, it's Morgan. I'm looking at this data here in my notes that you have, a firm has a dramatically lower delinquency rate than the ones that we're seeing, which are ticking higher for credit cards right now. How much does that speak to your underwriting prowess? How much does it speak to the impact interest rates, high interest rates are having on consumers right now? Uh, it's fundamentally the outcome of three things. Number one, we really are first and foremost, an engineering and math company. We take data, we ask our merchants to share a lot more data than they traditionally do with credit card companies because we can extend more credit to consumers that way when we understand more about the purchase. So we really are quite good at underwriting and the data speaks for itself. Two, each one of the transactions is underwritten separately. And so we know exactly when you or whoever's borrowing is too close to overextending themselves. And we're not afraid to say, hey, this is a really good thing that you have in mind, but we don't think you can afford it. You either need to give us some data that tells us we're getting you wrong, we need to re-underwrite you, or perhaps you should take the time to uh, save up a little bit or make a slightly larger down payment, et cetera. And three, just more sort of a technical reason why we are superior to credit cards, each one of these transactions on average is done something like four or five months from inception. So these very short-term transactions, relatively speaking, just give us more flexibility when we decide what sort of a credit outcomes we want to see in the business. All right, Max Levchin, wish we had more time. Uh, big news from you today, big move for the stock, up 11%, uh, the CEO of a firm.